Hi guys, so it's always a pleasure to hear from the right honourable gentleman from the 1800s when he talks about food banks and how they're uplifting. But it's also delightful to hear such a noble individual speak on the issue of poverty and in particular in work poverty. Well, before he graces us with his latest utterances, it must be remembered that our good friend Jacob struggles, not financially I might add, such a thing would be horrible. No, he struggles to understand the life of ordinary people. So this is from Wikipedia, his Wikipedia page. It says here, he has amassed a significant fortune. His estimated net worth in 2016 was from 55 million to 150 million pounds, including his wife's expected inheritance. But let's hear Jacob Rees-Mogg talk about poverty. Of course it's important to support uh, children and to support families, which is what the government uh, has been doing with a number of uh, uh, schemes. So the children who live in working families have a much better chance of not being in poverty. The way he just read that part really quickly. Children who are in working families are not like, are less likely to be in poverty. What? Shouldn't there be nobody in poverty if they're if they're in a working family. Shouldn't working lift you out of poverty? Well, obviously we know that that doesn't work because many people are working, numerous jobs, and still in poverty. And raising the national living wage to £9.15 next year means an extra £1,000 a year for a full-time worker. Two million families will get an extra £1,000 a year through our cut to the universal credit tape and the increase to work. The cut to the universal credit tape. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there's tape. I'm not sure what he means by this. Um, we've cut universal credit uh, and given people more money. No, that's not exactly how it works. Now, remember, there was an uplift of £20 a week, but that was taken away. The Tories said, no, no. Not everyone needs it, so let's take it away from everyone. But universal credit, yes, is going up next year. It says here, and I'll leave a link in the description of this video, universal credit will um, increase by 3.1% on the 11th of April 2022. And here is a breakdown. Under 25s, single, will see an increase of £7.98. Couples will see an, an increase of £12.52. And then there is other information. Now, there's a small problem with this. As you saw here, it will increase by 3.1%. But inflation currently is at 4.2%. So people have seen their universal credit uplift taken away. Universal credit will increase next year by 3.1%. But inflation is already running at 4.2%. Now, we don't know what inflation will be at next year, next April, but if it's above 3.1%, it means people are losing out. Allowances, there's 200 million pounds a year to continue the hugely successful holiday activity and food program. So the government, of course, takes the needs of children um, into account into what it does and into the benefits that are provided and the welfare that is given. This is fundamental uh, to how the welfare state operates. Such a, a wonderful advocate for the welfare state, yes, Jacob Rees-Mogg. Well, of course, you know, we have his voting record here so we can test it. He voted consistently for making local councils responsible for helping those in financial need. So offloading responsibility from central government to local government. Consistently voted against raising welfare benefits at least in line with prices. So once again, he's not interested in increasing, for example, universal credit in line with inflation. No, keep it below inflation so that the poor get poorer. If you're on universal credit and, and inflation is running higher than the increase, then you're getting poorer. The mathematics doesn't li don't lie, okay? Um, other ones, for example, he consistently voted against spending public money to create guaranteed jobs for young people and consistently voted for a reduction in spending on welfare benefits and finally consistently voted against paying higher uh, benefits over longer periods for those unable to work due to illness or disability. 
So when Jacob Rees-Mogg talks about, yes, we want to um, support the welfare state, we want to lift people out of poverty, especially children, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's a lie. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.